Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, I've been pretty busy since the last time I jumped on YouTube, so uh, I really wanted to get back on YouTube. I just didn't really know how I was going to go about doing it, so I figured I would just say what the hey and on the camera or the phone <laughs> and uh, yeah talk to you guys, see what's up, get this party started. I know that there's no way, better way to do something or to get good at something than to do it. So, well, I took a break after my last competition just due to just really wanting to mentally just clear my head, especially after my, my breakup for my fiance. If you guys don't remember, I had a fiance about a year ago so after that breakup I think I just really wanted to point that negativity and anger towards somebody that I think that did me wrong in the in the uh, you know the journey or the route of my or the course of my relationship you know what I mean so and I, it had nothing to do with bodybuilding, and I just think that I was just very poisonous at the time, and I, I wanted other people to feel the way that I did, <laughs> and I felt like shit. So, uh, you know, to anybody, I was a little bit too aggressive at the beginning of my comeback of bodybuilding earlier last year. I apologize about that, but I can be a bit passionate, so. But anyhow, uh, I still have a huge, huge love for bodybuilding, and uh, no matter how much I try to fucking push it out of my life, uh, it still creeps up, you know. I'm, I've been training this entire time uh, that I stopped bodybuilding, like I said uh, earlier last year. And uh, I, I finished with my degree. I got my, my bachelor's in business. And uh, I just recently took my LSAT. So I find out the, the, uh, the results for that in February. So that's kind of nerve wracking. Uh, but the plan is, is to get into a law school in LA. In the meantime, I'll be privately training here in downtown. So I feel that that will definitely keep my head clear <laughs> and focused on what I need to do in life instead of, uh, cause I was previously working at Crouch for like seven months and um, I loved it there. It was absolutely amazing. It was just, a little, it was very time consuming. So I just had to uh, just go back to, to private training cause I can just wake up and just go down the street to work to whoever's gym that I'm going to you know so it's really nice so I, I I do feel a bit you know relieved of stress <laughs> for sure especially getting ready uh, to go to law school but I still honestly feel that I'm gonna have to retake that LSAT <laughs> just because whenever I uh, I took it I didn't get that warm and fuzzy uh, that you usually get after you take a test that you normally pass or get the score that you want. I didn't have that warm and fuzzy feeling. So, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm happy that I had the experience. Uh, I find out my results in February. But, yeah, yeah, I'm excited about the next step. If I need to take the, retake the test, I will. Um, and just go from there. But hopefully I do have high enough scores where I could apply to either Loyola, UCLA, UC, USC, or Southwestern. So those are the law schools that I've been having in mind. So yeah, I've just been really productive uh, uh, with life instead of just uh, having my main focus being on the stage of bodybuilding competitive bodybuilding uh, even though I miss it I uh, I know there's a lot I need to do with life first before I can uh, go back to competitive bodybuilding um, 
and I'll definitely have been considering doing it, uh, uh, you know, not natural. <laughs> Even though I did go on a huge rant, but it was for a good intention. And it was from a, a good place in my heart. But <clears throat> whenever I do start bodybuilding, I think I'll be close to my 40s. Because uh, I'm 34 right now. And whenever I'm all done with uh, law school or whatever personal uh, goals I have, and I do start pursuing bodybuilding, I will be, <laughs> my body will be more than ready to take on that extra testosterone because you start to lose testosterone, like, I think at the age of 30, you start to see what out. What else is that, what else that has been having my attention, other than that hawk you guys hear in the background, it preys on the pigeons out there. But I guess that's just the circle of life. Uh, <laughs> yeah, what has been having my attention in uh, social media or the news would have to be the recent murder of young Dolph by uh, I forget his name. Fudge. Anyway, he got shot <laughs> at his cookie shop or one of the cookie shops that he supports. And then uh, it turns out that the dude that shot him, he was just feeling salty because he didn't get signed uh, to Paper Round Entertainment. And the artist who got signed instead of him, man, and I, I can't think of his name right now. Um, anyway, he, he he's, uh, he's, in, he, he's in prison right now. Well, he's in jail waiting to go to trial for prison, but it's him and another dude who did it. But <clears throat> like I said, uh, it was between him and I think Big Moochie, great. <laughs> not mistaken it was uh, between him and I guess it was like Lee Glock's friend uh, or homie but anyhow it, at the, the 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 gist of it the dude was fucking sour because he wasn't getting paid and Big Moochie was and he fucking shocked Big fucking Young Doll for that so I was really in my feelings about that it really fucking sucks but I'm happy to see that Key Glock is out and doing his thing. So, you know what? Now that I think about it, maybe the universe doesn't want me to say that dude's name that, you know, hit Young Dolph. It's sad, but, I mean, the fact that he got hit, but uh, the universe not wanting me to say his name, just, uh, just not to give it energy. So, that's just me thinking out of the box. Uh, or I could just forgotten his name uh it'll definitely come to me but that's definitely what has been uh uh having my attention it's what i've watched up watch late at night before going to bed on youtube so and like i said uh, i think it's it's really cool that young Dolph is uh not young Dolph, but key glock he's still pushing forward you know he did, you know young Dolph was a big loss for the pre <clears throat> You know, he will definitely hold it down. I'm excited to see the music he comes out with. And the rest is the paper route in uh, Empire, uh, or entertainment. Uh, yeah, the rest of the PRE group. Excited about that. Uh, that's it for me, guys. I'll definitely, I want to jump back on here more often to talk with you guys and uh, catch up. So, until then, I'll see you next time. Uh, and if you'd like to talk about something in particular, or you, you have a comment about something I said, please leave it in the comment section below, and uh, we'll talk about it in the next video. So, thanks again for always 
being a supporter of me if you watch my videos in the past and if you're new here welcome <laughs> and hopefully I said something entertaining or interesting for you to stick around till now uh, I'll see you guys later like I said until next time peace <laughs> so fucking awkward at the end it's fucking ridiculous I don't know what that is